Hey folks, it's Troy. I'm excited about this package that I just got in the mail and I wanted to unbox it in front of you. Um, this I got from the dirt and Gregory backpacks. And I'm so excited. Look at that. It's a new backpack. It's actually more than just an ordinary backpack. Um, so this is called the Gregory Inertia 30. And it is a backpack but it is specifically designed as a hydration backpack, meaning that it has a water bladder and a tube uh, built into this pack. I um, wanted to kind of just go through it real quick. Uh, this is not a review or a test, it's more of a, a preview. But um, to begin with, you know, I generally favor kind of muted tones, you know, some blacks or grays but when i saw this orange online it's called a ferrous orange i kind of think of it as a burnt orange i really liked it and i thought oh yeah i got to get this model um so i just wanted to kind of go through it really quickly uh you know at first glance it looks like a kind of a standard backpack um this material i believe is a ripstop nylon and to me, it feels like it's probably at least a 200 denier. I don't think I have the stats on that. I don't think Gregory actually published those, those stats, but um, 200 denier is you know, sufficient to, to last, but it also keeps the pack nice and light. Uh, this backpack, I always like to look at the suspension first because that's really where the backpack meets your back. It's probably one of the most important features of any backpack. This one has, you know, your typical shoulder straps and there are foam inserts that are ventilated, which are nice. Now these are not overly padded. Uh, they're kind of lightly padded so they conform to your body. And I like that more than an overbuilt backpack with heavy, heavy uh, shoulder straps. Likewise, the uh, waist, waist strap is Similarly with foam, vented with mesh. Uh, let's see. There are these straps up here. You pull them over your shoulder to help pull the pack closer to your uh, back. That's a grab handle. Um, let's see. It has some little uh, loops in the material here and here. And this you know helps to run the tube through, but I also like to just hang gear off of these sometimes. Of course it has a chest strap and then you know your adjustment to, for those straps. The front of the pack, the most notable feature that I really like is you know this stretch mesh pocket up front. I put things like my poncho, sometimes my uh, hiking sandals or something, sometimes food in that part of the pack. Has some more little gear loops here. Water bottle holder here. Water bottle, bottle holder here. I like the symmetry on both sides. Um, oh, yeah, it has like a little, um, some straps. This is for a tool. It could be an ice axe, it could be your hiking poles. Uh, you have some cinch straps to compact the pack. Those are always nice. Let's see. Okay, let's open this up. We have one pocket here. And this runs almost the full length of the pack. I'd say it's a mid-sized pocket. Um, and then there's a smaller pocket here, which has mesh. And that's for some other loose items that you might have. 
let's see. And then you have the main compartment. Let's see. This is uh, where you'd stuff the majority of your items. Um, this is a 30 liter pack, which for many people, you know, that's a good day pack. If you're an ultralight backpacker, I don't know if I consider myself an ultralight backpacker, but I'm definitely a light backpacker. 30 liters, I can live off of that for a pretty long time. And that's, that's what I'm gonna use this for. Not only as a day pack, but as a weekend pack, maybe even a week pack if you pack light. So 30 liters is, is, is sufficient space for me. And if you're an ultralight packer, backpacker, definitely it's enough space. This is a top pocket and a lot of companies are, are starting to put these top pockets in. I like them. It's good for holding your cell phone or your sunglasses. And this one actually has a little clip so you can clip your keys on there so you never lose them. That's a good feature. Uh, also, you could put a first aid kit up here so that it's very convenient to, to grab. And uh, you know, the feature that I was really excited to check out is this hydration bladder. So you see the tube here, and it's pretty standard tube, like most uh, hydration backpacks. Um, has a bite valve. I believe also this is a locking bite valve, so when you're traveling, you can lock it so it doesn't leak out. And I believe that it's supposed to clip on to this uh, chest strap so that it's nice and handy. But this is the main feature. This is the hydration bladder, and I guess to begin with, it has a little clip here that holds it securely in place. And then you pull it out. And Gregory calls this a 3D hydro bladder. And this is three liters or 100 uh, ounces of water. It holds that much. Uh, it has this kind of plastic handle up here that makes it easy to grab. It has the clip that clips into the backpack. And then, you know, your typical opening to fill it or to drain it. And so uh, that's a nice feature. It also, on this uh, lid, it has a little bit of rubber, so it makes it easy to grab. That's a great feature. That's a great idea. And then it has a clip down here so that when you do want to drain water out of your pack, you hang it up, water drains out. And this is the super feature of the 3D hydro bladder is that you can see how thick it is. And that's, uh, there's actually kind of like a membrane on the inside of here that is creating this shape of the bladder. And it's both ergo for your back, but also when it comes time to dry out your bladder, it kind of keeps that open shape so that air can actually go inside and that really helps to dry out the bladder. Uh, with a lot of bladders, if they're just laying flat and you have water inside there, uh, over time, you know, some funky stuff grows and you never want that inside your hydration bladder. It's always great to just keep water in there and then dry it out uh, when you're not using it. So I'm really excited to uh, test this backpack out and I think I'm going to take it on a little uh, excursion maybe on the weekend and do like a full test. But I'm so excited about receiving this that I wanted to kind of do a preview and just, uh, you know, show you guys what's in store. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about this. This is the Gregory Inertia. 30 liter backpack.